Hi friends, Diane Adkins, your violin teacher. Today I'm going to talk about Etude, the twelfth piece in Suzuki Book One. This piece is very similar to one you've already played in Book One, Perpetual Motion, in that it requires a vigorous staccato bow stroke. It's a little bit long and it has doubles. So now you already know, since you did the hiccups, hopefully you, you watched that video and you did the hiccup bowing, but I also require hiccup bowings in this piece. But um, a lot of times people are, if you're memorizing this piece, then I need to teach you the etude train. Okay, and we'll talk more about that. So make sure before you uh, practice this that you know your G major scale two octaves pretty easily. Okay, and in this piece we have some string crossings, we have low two, and a lot of times we have a little problem memorizing or knowing where we are in this piece. So first thing I'm going to do is just play through it. That wasn't so bad. Now, once you have that, and I'll, I'll help you a little bit with a way to memorize that using the etude train. Uh, once you have that memorized, then you'll want to do the hiccups. <laughs> If you have any problems with string crossings, remember take away the fingers and just practice the open strings. There's a couple string crossings in here, like when you have this, you might want to take fingers away and do and make sure that you have a nice clean string crossing. open string bowings for string crossing uh, difficulties. Uh, okay, so G major, low twos, knuckles apart, nice vigorous staccato bow stroke, and then the trick is the etude scale. Uh, I mean the etude train. So we're going to cover that real quick. So if you can imagine with me a train. Uh, here's the first car. Four notes, okay? Now the next car is exactly the same, so we do it again. Okay, so we do two of them in a row now. Later on we're going to do three in a row, so let's practice that. That's three cars. The first car I call the first car. We do it twice the first time, and the next time in a minute, and later in the phrase, we do it three times. That's car number one, okay? Now, when you're getting ready to move into the car number two, you have a little connector, and it always follows car number one, and it is... One, two, three, four, five notes. All right, we're going to remember that is always the connector for car number one, and it usually, and it, I think it always leads to car number two. Car number two is, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four notes, starting up, and we always play it three times. So let's do it three times, up O D. Now, car two has a connector, and it is three notes long. 
All right, now we're going to do car number one again, three times. <laughs> The connector that always follows it. Car number two, three times. The three note connector that follows number, car number two all the time. Now we, we are about to have a really long train car, so we need an extra connector, and this is the only time you ever have to play it in, in etude. Make sure you hold one down while three is hopping. All right, now we have a long car that goes from two on E to two on D. So we call this the two scale car, and it is all the notes in between. Stop on two, open it up, come back to it, play open A. All right, let's do that again. Car number two, from two to two. Stop on the two, open it up, come back to it, play open A. Here we go. All right, now we've got another long car, the three scale. And we play from three to three, and we open it up, we come back to it, and we play open A. Now we're back to car number one again. Let's see, twice. Two of them. What follows it? And then starting on three, we're going to just proceed down to the basement, all the way down every note to open G. Using the etude train will help you if you are having trouble or if you want to memorize this piece. And since this video is getting long, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.